Hello and welcome to today's video in which we're not talking about a programming language, we're talking about the basics of rotating bits, rotating bytes, rotating words, and also shifting them left and right. So how do we work with bits and bytes and words? Um, the next video I will make about programming those, but for now we just need the uh, digital fundamentals, that's what it's called. Therefore, I have this little scene here that you can see in the background, this little program, and you don't see a lot. What you see is an input variable on top, right? an input variable here on the top. You see a move by, whatever that means, and you see those two blue fields. Those two blue fields are just the input variable. Uh, it's just for us, so we see it at a different place. You will see why later on. <clears throat> so if I have my input variable, let's just say my input variable right now is 0000000000000, 16 zeros, it's a word, 16 bits, that's a word, 16 zeros, or two bytes of zeros. <clears throat> when we rotate left, rotate right, shift left, shift right, we usually talk about uh, words, about bytes, about bits, and we're not really talking about numbers. Of course, that's also there, but usually we are talking about a bit level, about a binary level. That's why I also have this at a binary here. There's definitely applications for having those also in the arithmetic world, uh, for multiplying by two, dividing by two, and there's more. Um, but for now, we just look at how does this work. I've got my variable at 16 zeros or ones, and I can change it. Let's put a one in the very first place. So you can see 0, 0, 15 zeros and one one. This is also displayed by our blue fields here. And right? I've made it so that the blue fields are here because uh, for better visibility, I think visibility, for a good overview. So we have different operations that we can do with our variable now. I have those uh, fields here on the left. I've created those to actually show. If I turn them all on, you see there's a lot of zeros and ones going on on the screen. I don't want that. I want one operation after the other. So let's look at the first operation, which is shift left. Shift left is our first operation that we can do with the variable that we have with the 16 bits that belong together with the word. And I have this button shift left. If I click shift left, shift left operation will be executed. What does a shift left do? You see this? This is what it does. And it actually takes the bit on the right and pushes it one to the left, takes the one from the left and pushes it one to the left. So it basically pushes all the bits one to the left, shift left, it's shifting the bits to the left. Uh, at the last place, we will always have a zero that comes out that comes from the outside. It's just a zero being pushed in. Why doesn't that work if I click shift left? Hmm, strange. In most programming languages, we have to determine first, we have to decide how many places do I want to shift? In the example that's shown here, how many spots do we shift? We always push, we always shift just by one bit. That's what I can do here as well with the move by, I just set the move by to one bit, right? And now we're just shifting by one position. How does that look like? Right now our value is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. And after I shift left, how will it look like? Because we're pushing it once to the left, it will look like 0, 0, 0, 1 and a zero. The last zero comes from the outside, right? Because we're filling it up with zeros in the end, and the one will just be shifted by one to the left. So if I click, you see now our value is actually one zero. If I want to shift again, make a guess, we're pushing it once to the left again. One zero zero zero, and so on, right? Every click, you might hear it, we're shifting it once to the left, right? That is good with left shift. What do we have as well? We don't just have a left shift to push it to the left. What do we also have? We have a right shift, right? We have a right shift, right? We have a right shift, that one here. Don't look that, that it says word and logic, doesn't matter for now, we have this right shift, which works exactly the same as the left shift. Oop, I'm in the way. Uh, if I click right shift, you see we're pushing the whole variable once to the right. Right now it is so many zeros, a one and so many zeros. After I click, it will be pushed one bit to the right. One bit, one bit, one bit, one bit, one bit, one bit. Right now it is one zero. If I click once more, it will be one. If I now click again, right? if I now click again, this one that we have, 
where we put basically to position minus one. That does not exist, so we are losing that one. Let's click it, but the one is lost. Our value is now zero, zero, zero. Doesn't matter what I do. It's zero, zero, because I'm just pushing zeros. If I take the left shift, I'm pushing zeros from the right side into it. If I take the right shift, I'm pushing zeros from the left side into it. So nothing will change. What do I have to do? I change my value again manually to a one, and there we have it. Now I can happily shift to the left, shift to the right, right? that works fine. Also, if I go too much to the right side, right now it's one, zero, 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 zero. If I left shift now, value is lost, right? That's what we have. If I now have a one here on top and I say move by two, for example, right? What's gonna happen if I shift left my bit the one that I have will not just be shifted by one position, it will be shifted by two positions. You see it here, shift left by two positions, by two positions, by two positions. That's the same for shift right. If I click shift right, we will not shift the bit by one position here. Uh, it can be seen pretty well. We are shifting it by two. So it's not one zero zero. It will be one zero zero. It, that's what it is right now. It will be zero zero one because we're pushing it two. And now we would be losing that one again, but, and it's gone. Usually when you say you want to shift, you want to uh, rotate, you usually do it by one bit. Of course, there's, there's all, difficult, uh, all different uh, applications where you might shift and rotate by two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or whatsoever. Um, but you, the standard thing is one. That's the preset in most cases, actually. So we have this shift, right? Shift works perfectly fine, easy peasy. Right now we have this scenario. I just put in a one. I ah let let's actually look at another thing first. What happens if I have a series? Right, a series of bits. Now I have one one zero one zero one actually, and that's our value in both cases here. If I shift to the left, you see all the bits are being shifted. It's not just a single bit, it's all the bits at the same time and for the right as well, right? If I go above the threshold, so right now it's one, one, zero, one, zero, one. So that's the highest we can have. If I push now to the left, we are just losing the upper one, right? We're just losing the highest one because that's being pushed outside. I can shift right now again. The problem is I'm not getting that one again. I can shift right so much that I'm losing the one on the right side, shift left again, losing the one on the left side and right again and losing everything, right? I can shift all the way I want. <clears throat> so that's the shifting, right? So we're losing on the left, we're losing on the right. Sometimes you don't want that. Like if you, for example, have a light system and you want to have a rotating light, first this is on, then this, then this, then this, and then this again, this, 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 like a, like a, uh, what is it, Knight Rider. Uh, not exactly Knight Rider, Knight Rider goes left, right, left, right. Uh, like a rotation, right? Starting here, going there, there, there. If it's in the end, then going back to the beginning. And that's why we have this rotation. You see the difference between a shift and a rotate? The shift takes a zero from the outside, right? And we're losing the upper value. Like if the upper value is being shifted to the left, it's gone. We, it, it's gonna be a zero. It's, it's gone somewhere into the nether. <clears throat> if I rotate, the upper value, the highest bit here, if it's a one, this one is going to be pushed into the lowest bit. We are rotating the full round, so we're not losing the bit. Let's go with our one again, right? I have the one, and I rotate left. You see, right now there's no difference. To shifting, there's no difference at all. If it's all just zeros and there's one in the center, no difference at all. The difference will be when, look at this here, we have reached the highest bit, right? This is the highest bit. So what happens if I shift left? This bit will be lost, right? What happens if I rotate left? We're taking this bit and pushing it into the lowest position. So for rotate left, it's basically jumping back to the beginning. See that? It's basically jumping back to the beginning. That's when rotating, right? And when I just shift, this is gone, right? It's gone, it's, that's the difference. Rotation, we don't lose the bit, we're pushing it into the first place. Shifting, we lose the bit. That's, of course, the same, um, whoops, the same when we go to the right, right? If I have this and I rotate to the right, 
I will go through. The bit will be there on the left side then. We're going then from the LSB, least significant bit, the lowest bit, to the highest bit. And that's what happens here. And here's the jump. We have, a, we have just one. This one, if we rotate it right, will be at the highest bit. If we just shift it right, it will be lost. Which I don't want right now. I just want to shift. Uh, I just want to rotate through. That's rotation. Shifting. It's lost now. Right? That's how this. That's how rotation. That's how shifts work. So, <clears throat> yeah. Of course, we can also rotate by more than one. If I select this, for example, to six, we are always jumping by six. Right? We're just jump jumping by six. Um, and also, of course, if I have a series of ones and zeros, right, a series of ones and zeros, and I rotate, you see it's just rotating through. All the thing, it's just rotating through forever now. And to the right, it's the same. It's just rotating through. If there's a zero, this zero gets pushed to the highest. If there's a one, whoops, if there's a one right now, this one will be pushed to the highest. Here we go. And plop. good. So that's that's the basics of rotating. That's the basics of shifting. Pretty simple. That's just one other thing. So far, I have talked about just bits, right? Just ones and zeros. It's just bits. Sometimes you want to rotate or shift. Usually rotate, actually. That's that's where the difference is. Not shifting, only with rotating, and only when rotating to the right, actually. <clears throat> if you have a number, an integer number. An integer number can be negative, can be positive. There's one difference between shifting a number, which is an integer, and a word, which is just a series of ones and zeros. Here is the difference. We have an arithmetics, that's with the integer. Uh, we have an arithmetics rotation uh, shift, and we have a logic shift. If we take the logic shift, that's what we had so far. Let's take the logic shift. I just need to put in a value actually. One, uh, yeah, it's just one. Uh, let's rotate that once. <clears throat> so if I have the logic shift, you see it. The logic shift pushes a zero on the left side at the first bit. When we now, um, when I now shift to the right, we will have a zero. You see that. If I have a one here on the right, on the left side, uh, on the most significant bit, we will just push that to the right. That's how shifting works, right? This is how shifting works. This is when talking about logic shifts. If we talk about something arithmetic shifts, if we're working with integer values, right? If we're talking with integer values, then the most significant bit, the highest bit indicates the negative sign. It's a minus. This minus, we do not want to lose. We just want to push through. That's why if we right shift an integer value, Right? If we right shift an integer value, which is also just ones and zeros, just represented in an integer way, in a, with a number way. If I right shift that, and we have a one here in the highest bit, that, that's what we have right now. We have a one in the highest bit. This is basically the negative sign. We will push that negative sign along through it. Right? So if there's a one and I shift right arithmetically, you see this one is going to shift of course but we still keep the one in the highest place this one here that's indicated here we keep the one in the highest place so if i right shift now more and more and more you see we keep the one in the highest place we're just shifting we're basically copying this one into the second highest place and then everything else will be shifted so we're basically we we're having more and more ones more and more ones more and more ones we can fill that up that is only when right shifting and a mathematical and arithmetic value which is usually an integer, right? That's right shifting that. Uh, you can set that in most programming languages if you want the logic shift or the arithmetic shift. With the logic shift, you will push a zero from the left side with the arithmetic shift. You will take the last position here and just copy it through. So, yeah, that's the basics of, um, of rotating and shifting. Right, that's the basics, and you can see if I do all at once, it looks quite crowded here. But it actually looks kind of cool when I now shift left. I didn't want to shift left, I want to rotate, because if I shift, I just lose values. 
Look at this. If I rotate, you see it's all just rotating through. And that's pretty neat. That's just a bonus thing. In the next video, I will show you how to program those things. I will show you basically this program here in Tia Portal. Um, I hope this is any helpful for you, the, the basics here. Um, if it helps, don't forget to leave a like. Do not forget to subscribe, of course, for new content every Tuesday and Thursday. And I thanks, thank you for following already. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day and goodbye. <laughs>